how's it going YouTube? It's me, Doug, and welcome back to another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. Yeah, I'm doing this episode right after doing part two, so because I just want to see what happens right after. So let's just get back to straight over. So we're at the choice of helping Natsuki, Yuri, or asking Saira to help us out of the situation. Uh, if you don't remember what's going on, these two are having a fight on whose writing style is better. And they're asking me on their opinion, so uh, help me, Sire. Natsuki. Natsuki glares at me. I try enough any words I haven't had in my mouth. So instead, I turn to Yuri. Yuri! For Yuri expression, so defenseless I could bring myself. No, anything. Sire! Ah! Yeah. Everyone's fighting is making Saturday uncomfortable. How can you two, how can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Talk. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I I agree. It's unfair for others to in interject their own feelings into our conflicts. Yeah, unless Saturday wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being, she would never. It's your immaturity that made her upset in the first place. Excuse me. Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why, exactly why nobody likes. Stop. That's okay, Yuri. You guys are my friends. I just want everyone to get along and be happy. Oh no, she's tearing up. No. <laughs> my friends are wonderful people. I love them because of their differences. That's. Not to give poems. They're amazing because they give so many feelings with just a few words. And Jimmy's poems are amazing. They paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. <laughs> so why are you fighting? B because. Well. Also. That's cute, cute and there's nothing wrong with that. <coughs> and Jimmy's boots are the same as they always were. Big and beautiful. Uh, uh, uh. Sire? Sire stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. Uh, I'll make some tea. You rushed all yet. She did proper just boom. Nastiki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So that's why Sire is the vice president, I whisper to Monica. She nods in her turn. Why is she looking at me in face like that? To be honest. I might come off as a good leader, and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I can even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. <laughs> nah, it's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that means Saira is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good, take good care of her, okay? I'd hate to see if any uh, get. I would hate to see her get hurt, self hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. One of the smiles sweetly as pausing. Oh god, I didn't get to read all that. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Okay, everyone, it's about time for us to leave. Remember last last week, the last uh, time we were here, and this time we were here, like the difference in time. Like, this one was much better. Like there was some beef going on everywhere. And anyway, how do you feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. Dark. How about you? Yeah, I'd, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. <laughs> and maybe you'll learn something from your friends too. See, our poem will not... will turn out even better. <laughs> I think to myself. <laughs> I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. When you like that music, I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I thought to myself with a newfound determination. Dark! Ready to walk home? 
Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sorry, I've been that mood. Truly, it has been a, a while since Sarah and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sarah? About what happened earlier. Eh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, 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 no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. Oh, it's over me. I promise, that's what I'm looking for. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just want your opinion, that's all. I can see where they're making good friends with you. Oh, you know, Derek, <coughs> it's nice that I gotta spend the time with you in the club. But I think seeing you go along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. I think everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day is gonna be so much fun. Oh. Looks like Cyrus still hasn't caught on any kind onto this kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but do we need to stop there? <laughs> we'll just have to see what the future holds, Sarah. I pat Sarah on the shoulder. I said that to more, more. I said that more to myself than to her. But it's easy to use Sarah as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. No. 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 Okay. But I never want a sticker. Okay, whatever, man. Hmm. 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 Okay, so. Shiny and chocolate would go with. Uh, Sayori. And so would Puppy, probably. Uh. Actually, no, Puppy would probably go with, uh. Singy. Uh. So, what would go with Monica? Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Um. Does what I click actually change anything? I don't think it does. Captive. Hmm. I think I'm actually thinking about this this time. Stop jumping in the air. Is that what she does now? Or is that like, do they do something different as I pick what they like? Oh, okay. Okay. Extreme memories, fantasy, socks. Okay. Anger. Unrequited nature. Uh, what the hell? I don't want it. Stop it. I see. Okay. I was just. I was just a test. Uh. Delicious. <clears throat> the animals will all go with, and everything, anything cute will always go with Siggy, not Suki. Fireworks will go with her, Sally will definitely go with Sayuri. Um, doki doki. Um, I'm just picking random words now, I just don't know what to pick anymore. Um, no. Uh, I don't even know. This is hard, man. Maybe past this time for the club meeting already. 
Feeling a little more confidence here over the past few days. I just clicked random buttons. Enter in the classroom. The usual scene greets me. Hi, Dark. Yo, Sarah. It looks like you've got you're in a good mood today. Mhm. Mm I'm still not used to being in the club. That's all. I'm just still not used to you being in the club. That's all I was gonna say. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess um, it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> you come with me to buy a snack? <clears throat> no thanks. Eh? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we look at your purse, Sarah? <laughs> yeah, of course. Why is that? Why is that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh huh. I know she's a queen purse. She fumbles with the latch and get it open. Then she turns it upside down and it's complete and lets its components fill into her. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> anyway, I see right through you, Sarah. That's not fair. How do you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming into the club. So easy, you're not hungry, no one's the excuse to take a walk, or you plan to completely forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing, you're always hungry, and so that leaves the one option. Ah, okay, Bob, don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Uh huh. You suddenly giggles. Oh. Huh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face in the book is all, oh, whoops. As always. Ah. Uh, I wasn't listening in or anything. I was just, it was just something in my book. You're right. Tell Dark to let me borrow some money. That's. Don't get me involved like that, Sarah. Besides, you should only buy what you could responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like yours, your suffering is fair enough for you should oh god. <laughs> uh, did I just... I didn't mean that. I got absorbed into that book. <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Jerry. It doesn't happen much, but it's, it's a fun inside of you. It's a fun side of you. What? There's no way you could just sit now. All right, though. I need something bad now to accept the revolution. Oh wait, <coughs> re re revolution. What's still still coming from you, Sire? I guess there's a little a little double inside of all of us in there. <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sire knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But you would have come me if I if it weren't for it. You wouldn't have come for the cupcakes. It's hard to trick Napsky into making them. Huh? Come on, give me more credit than that, Sarah. <laughs> uh, whoa! Did she just get slapped? Yeah. I don't know. It sounds. Something smacks Sarah in the face and Trump pulls onto her desk. Oh! What was... Huh? A cookie? Sure enough, it was a giant wrap, cookie wrapped in plastic. Sarah glances around. Is that a miracle? It's because I paid my restitu restitution. Retribution. Actually, that, um, that one almost worked. Huh? I was just gonna give it to you, but then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction though, ha. Huh? That's okay. That was so nice of you. I'm so happy. Sarah hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sarah rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. Small chocolate. Tyra suddenly claps her hands around her mouth. I bit my tongue! <laughs> you're, you're going through a lot over just one cookie. 
Not to be taken by a brown cookie. Ah, you really good. You look. You looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? <laughs> Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. You chose this chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that as a one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Sarah gets rusty and goes behind us and wraps around her arms. Oh, jeez. I, I get it, okay? I get, I get it. Cookie's still in hand. Natsuki reaches to nudge Sarah. Oh, Cookie's still in Natsuki reaches to nudge Sarah off her. Oh. Sarah suddenly leans down and takes a bite of Natsuki's cookie. <laughs> hey! Did you seriously just do that? Uh -huh. Mouse falls out and trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jerry's just Jerry's just such a kid sometimes. Monica, Monica, can you tell Cyrus? Eh? Now she glances around. Monica is in the club. <gasps> Where's Monica? Ugh. Where's Monica anyway? <coughs> Good question. Have any of you heard about her being late today? Not me. You have an Isa. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. <laughs> That's true. Excuse me. Suddenly a door swings open. Sorry. I'm, I'm, wait, no, that's Yuri. Sorry, I'm super sorry. I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over a boyfriend after all. That's that strong willed. But boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzes and glances over. Ah, never mind that. Well, you up anyway. Ah. Well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of lost track of time. Hmm. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must have not heard it since I was practicing piano. P piano? I wasn't aware you played music at all, Monica. <laughs> I, I don't really. I just kind of started recently. I always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool! You should really play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay! That sounds... That sounds cool. I'll also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Doc. Monica smiles sweetly. Uh, I love this, 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 this uh, I don't mean any pressure or anything like that. Uh -huh, don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. I really love the chance to share once when I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I choose to leave out Cyrus' mischievous escape of death. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. Everyone has already settled down. Sarah somehow has already finished the entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book and Natsuki disappeared into her closet. That's why all mongrels is. So you talk to Yuri a little more. Why? Why, why am I not reading that line? I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. Looks like the same book that she lent me. More than that, she seems to be on the few, first few pages. Did I even read the book? Uh, crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and her eyes meet for a split second. And that only makes her hide her face deeper into the book. Sorry. I was just space, spacing out. I'm out of this sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh. It's fine. 
If I was for focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed it in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Huh? Well, I stopped at the bookstore yesterday. Ah, that's not what I meant. I mean... God. I just happened to buy two of them. I see. What the nice music. There's something fairly obvious here is that Yuri is a telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Relatable. Is that so? What about... What's it about? Well... Mm -hmm. Don't know. Don't know about it. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. Portrait of Markov. It's an ominous looking eye, eye symbol of the front corner. Alright. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. This is about a girl in high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister. <coughs> and as soon as she just does so, her life is really, gets really strange. She gets talking about these people who escape from a human experiment room. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? It's <laughs> 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 <What> name! <laughs> Yuri made it sound like it's going to be a nice story, so that dark turn... So that dark turn came out of nowhere. Huh? Yuri gently jiggles one of the, giggle, jiggles it, giggles on the thing. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Dark? Not that. I mean, I could definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into these things. Just see so shy and reclusive on the outside. <laughs> My miss seems to be completely different. Something better, something good better happen in this part. Cause like, ugh, it's just that kind, that those kinds of stories. They'll change you. They'll challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals on, on their own philosophies they believe in, then suddenly. When they, when you thought you relate to the protagonist, they made out to be the naive one, blend their one-sided morals into face with the villain's plan. I, I, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I've lost. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. Why well, let, let things like books and writing throw my thoughts? I kind of forgot to pay attention to other people. I'm sorry if I end up. S I I'll keep going quiet when I speak like her because I want to sound different. I'm sorry if I end up saying strange things. Seems strange. And please stop me if I talk too much. That's. I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. It's the least I can do is listen. It's a literary club after all. Huh? That's. Well, that's true. In fact. In fact, what? Please don't make us it. I might as well get started reading it, right? You, you don't have to. Huh? What are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Uh, let me just get the book. I can literally read the book and pull out. Do I have to read this? Right, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip in this next to you. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little offense apprehensive. That's. I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's something I'm not very used to. I was reading in company with someone. I see. You must tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I'm going to start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in the company. It's as if I feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not particularly a bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Comforting. Yuri, Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realise that. She's not actually looking at her own book. 
I glance over. She's reading from my book instead. Sorry. I, I, I was just... You don't have to... You, you really apologise, don't you? I, I do. I don't really mean to. She's going to apologise again. I'm so, yep, yep, there it is. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? Slide my desk until it's against the series and hold my book more between the two of us. Ah, uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each, once we learn, see each lean in a little bit, our soldiers are almost touching. I feel like my left arm is in the, my the way, so instead of using my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn page. Here. See, see, it's not awkward. It's only awkward if you make it awkward. So this does not make it awkward, right? If he takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah. I, I do the same with my right hand and inside of the book. That way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to the other side. When holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. That actually kind of distracted me. It's as if I could feel the warmth of Yuri's face in the corner of my vision. Oh, oh, look at that, she look. Are you ready? I was looking at her eyes as soon as I pressed it. Eh? It turned the page. Oh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. So again, and her eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Oh, that's okay. You're not used to, be us used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. Look at that smile. It's probably the least I can do. Since you're being so patient with me. Y yeah. Thanks. Continue reading. I oh, actually look back, she looked back. Can't really just turn the page. The page between before me, so I turn it by my own violation. We continue the first chapter in silence. Means I'm turning each page on almost feels like an intimate exchange. My son gently lets go of the page, letting it flood over to her as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey Yuri, it's not a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Y you think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she's also second guessing all, all of, all of the things that she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like. I can see it in your head or anything. Was I kind of re reminiscent of some of your manimos? I see. You remain silent for a moment. But don't. That's probably a terrible thing to have in common with it. Oh god. I'm not so embarrassing that you think that. But wait. I don't mean in a bad thing or anything. Bad way or anything. Sorry, I really don't didn't know you were so self-conscious about that sort of thing. I guess I'm a woman that is kind of cute. Uh, what are you saying all of a sudden? Okay, everyone. <laughs> okay, everyone. It, I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. Might not have enough time if we wait too long. Uh, Yuri excels so spread for finishing our thoughts. Is that alright, Yuri? You look, ki you look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Huh? It's not. It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from her book and causes it to close on top of my thumb. Alright. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Um. I shouldn't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read it with you afterwards, after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish your first two chapters on your own time. Alright. I stand up. I make a mental note of what I left off in the book that I slip it back in my bag. This is long, man. I'm not even going to lie. This is actually long. Oh, wait, how long have we actually recorded for? 29 minutes already. Oh my god, this is going on long, man. Should we do half in this video and half in the next? Because this just goes on for a long time. Um, 
Or should we just end this episode here? We're just slow talking and we'll pick up next episode by reading everyone's. I think that's pretty reasonable. Alright? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's pretty reasonable. Let's, let's save this. There we go. So, we'll leave it there. <laughs> Thank you all for watching the third part of Doki Doki Literary Club. Nothing's happened yet, but we're getting there slowly. Okay, 30 minutes videos. So now I'm just going to leave you with one question before I leave. Um, how long do you want the videos? Do you want it like part 2 with 45 minutes with a lot more content so like doesn't drag on forever? Or do you want it shorter from 25 to 30 minutes? So it's either 25 to 30 minutes or 35 to 45 minutes like that time. Put that in the comments because I'm not going to do another part until next week. So yeah, um, if you did enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe for more, join the Discord, the link's in the description. I'll see you all in the next one. Wow.